It's 1956 and the Cold War is at its peak. But even total annihilation won't stop the Susan B. Anthony Society for the Sisters of Gertrude Stein from celebrating their annual quiche breakfast. Well, hello, my name is Lutley Stanwick, and I am the president of the Susan B. Anthony Society for the Sisters of Gertrude Stein, and I am so excited about this year's quiche breakfast, I can't even tell you. Hi, I'm Dale Prist, and I am the historian of the Susan B. Anthony Society for the Sisters of Gertrude Stein, and the first time I had quiche, I fell in love because it was eggy and cheesy and creamy. Hi, I am uh, Ren Robin and I am the events chairwoman of the Susan B. Anthony Society for the Sisters of Gertrude Stein and I'm just so excited <laughs> about this year's quiche breakfast. I'm Ginny Cadbury and I'm the secretary of the Susan B. Anthony Society for the Sisters of Gertrude Stein and this is my very first quiche breakfast so I'm very very excited. But I was also very nervous making my quiche for today. Hello, Veronica Schultz. People call me her. I'm the Buildings and Grounds Chairman here for the Society of the Sisters of Gertrude Stein. And I just want to say that I'm very excited about this year's Quiche Breakfast. I've prepared the facility. It is a safe place for America and for Quiche. Because this is the time when we all get together and we feel the strength and the unity that Lady Montmont brought together for all of us. The egg is as close to the Lord Jesus as a piece of food can get. Don't miss your chance to join the sisterhood for the most uproarious community meeting of your life in five lesbians eating a quiche.